guys, Karen Fire, and welcome back to another video on Code and Excel. Sorry if I had a bit funny today, I am still recovering from my flu. Today we will be going over where you can get the best experience in the Savannah Zone. I have another dance leader, Snow Hunter. She's going to be helping me throughout the series. What a lovely frog. So she's at level zero, and every time we kill her, we reset it back to zero. And you can see how much experience you get out of the best animals here. So we're going to start with Thunderfoot. He's actually an elephant boss, but he produces the best experience out of everything here. Now, he's not easy to kill, but he does produce hella XP compared to everything else in the savannah. So I thought I would include him in this list just because of that fact. There we go. She's killed him. Quickly grab her before she kills the next one. She's actually leveled up three times, which is quite funny. It produces a lot of experience from a Thunderfoot. That is 108,000 experience it will get from it. We just set her back to zero, get another Thunderfoot out. There we go, she's killed another one. And as you can see, all in all, because she got the last level, we are at level three at the moment, she got 108,000 out of one Thunderfoot. So if you had a level 1 Deslina, that will level up to level 3, you kill another Thunderfoot, there you go, you can see the exact amount that is inputted into this level. The Thunderfoot is a great thing to kill, but the problem is with Thunderfoot is he is also a very difficult thing to kill. Because <laughs> he's an elephant boss. The White Tiger, another close contender to the Thunderfoot, 99,000 experience it will produce if you kill one. But I don't really recommend the White Tiger because he is pretty tricky to kill. I would say probably even more so than the Elephant, just because of how he works nowadays. He's not as easy as he used to be. He is quite a challenge with those bleed stacks. A really good way to farm XP here actually is to actually attack Rhinos because there's a lot more of them than other things. So we just get our Thrall here to attack this Rhino. There we go. They have a look at her XP. You can see it's given her 16,380 experience into her bar. We just reset that. That is the most amount you get out of the most creatures here. Because so you've got a lot of rhinos, you can farm these rhinos out. Elephants and tigers come in pretty close behind, but you can farm those out also. We got Tiger's attention here, we get rid of that. There we go, one bang. Have to get her attention before she goes and beats up the elephant. <laughs> there you go. You see she's got quite a nice amount of experience and she will also get the same amount from the elephant. So she's back to zero. I'll get her to kill the elephant for us. There we go, elephant's dead. There you go, you got the same amount out of the elephant. So those are pretty good to farm as well, but the rhinos will produce the best and... They're probably easier, I find, than the elephants, just about. That being said, in the savannah, things do produce pretty good experience anyway. The lowest thing I found here was an antelope that gave me 10,080 experience in general. So, it is a pretty good place to farm out experience. If you want the most, go for Thunderfoot. If you want to actually farm it, go for rhinos. And then you can go to elephants and tigers, and that is pretty good as well. And those are all over the savannah in both savannah zones, and you can farm those out pretty well. Make sure you want to check out my other two videos. I'll talk about the north and the jungle zones, and what is best to kill in these zones, and level up your frills and pets. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>